There is no reason anymore not to run Windows 10 Pro retail version on your PC. Get it now, $12.50 only, instant delivery on a brand new secured web store. Welcome, welcome to the Skyrim Special Edition 2021 Let's Play. Yes, it's been a while since I've done a Let's Play. And I know usually I, yeah, you know, quit it after a couple of parts. Um, so I, what I want to do is prevent that by recording at least a couple of hours uh, of gameplay. So at least a couple of like a couple of dozen parts um, to avoid, you know, you know, f uh, seeing like five or six parts of this Let's Play. And then, uh, then yeah, I'm suddenly stopping. So... Uh, the reason for this let's play is because 10 years of Skyrim, Skyrim was released in 2011, 11, 11, 2011. And also, of course, because of the 2021 Ultimate Graphics Guide, uh, I think looks looks absolutely great. So, um, yeah, I thought, why not do a new let's play? And especially with these graphics, because a lot of you ask, so how does it actually look when playing the game, when doing quests and stuff like that? So that is why I thought, you know, I what's there or what, what what can be better than just showing actual gameplay by an actual let's play for all the quests and stuff. So that's why I did decide to do. Um, I am playing uh, with an Xbox controller, by the way, so you have a little probably a more better, uh, more more pleasant more pleasant view of playing instead of all the, the you know the, the the flickery and jigging mouse movements which are very sharp and the controller is just way smoother and also that is because I am going to play a melee character with uh, a one-hander and a shield and I, for that the controller is perfectly fine an example if I wanted to do archery I really need a mouse and keyboard but now this is fine so um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So enjoy the next couple of parts um, with this Let's Play. I'm really looking forward to it. And I am going to pick a, um, a Red Guard because they're very good fighters and they're very good with uh, one-handed weapons as well. So that's pretty much it. I like the this preset I've done. I changed the hair a little bit from Case Hair Does. Nothing too fancy. Um, and let's done it. So finish name. I'm going to name it instead of Brett Caliber my real first name because I have so many test games already with Brett Caliber test or test blah blah blah. So it's uh, fun to have a little bit more different. And this mod is random alternate start. Um, that means that I can, uh, like like the name says, literally start randomly anywhere. But I prefer to start somewhere at a nice area, not necessarily at the snow areas. Uh, because I think they're a little bit boring. Eventually we need to get there, but it would be nice to start a little bit at the more forest areas or rift and stuff like that. So let's see if we're able to do that here. Approach, my child, and choose where your new life shall begin. Let's see. A soldier in the army is pretty nice um, regarding roleplay. Escape the cell, not necessarily. I'm an outlaw in the wild. So yeah, that sounds good, maybe. Uh, I am camping in the woods. That's also a possibility. Maybe sh we should pick that. The woods can be so peaceful this time of year. Good hunting. Uh, yeah, if you say so. So yeah, um, that's pretty nice. I think for this mod that you can randomly start anywhere. Uh, before we're going to jump into game, I have to say I only finished the entire game just one time, and I probably didn't do all the missions. For the rest, all my Skyrim hours are really um, just uh, you know uh, modding and testing out the game and randomly walking in forest. So I have really no clue anymore what's up with the Stormcloaks and the Imperial. I know you can pick a scythe uh, halfway the game. Um, but anyway, we're going to now randomly start somewhere, so uh, somewhere in the forest. That means that we are now just a random guy in Skyrim, which I think is pretty cool. So we're not Dragonborn yet. We probably will discover it. And um, yeah, let's see what, where we're going to uh, start. And as you can see here with this object, how great the 4K textures look. Um, and also in all, you know, I think the mod list we have now in 2021 is really, really cool. All right, so we are camping in the forest. And we need to investigate Helgen because something happened there. And we all know, of course, what happened there. So yeah, welcome to this forest. Oh, 
I do see shadows. What's going on? Is that a dragon? And I also feel rumbling in my controller. So, ah, there's a dragon over there. So I'm not sure if it's going to attack us yet. Uh, probably not. Ah, okay. We are uh, pretty close near Riverroot, according to that, uh, what is it? Bleakfall Barrow or something? The dungeon over there. So that means we are pretty in line with uh, the starting, uh, the, the start of the main story. So let's see, do we have some weapons? Ah, crap. Just a bow and arrow, no um, sword and shield. That sucks, unfortunately. So we need to find out what happened to Helgen. Um, but I also would like to go to River Woods because I don't have a sword or something. So, mm. yeah, okay, it is what it is. Let's a quick save. And let's uh, see what's going on. So, let's see, Helgen is probably the closest, yeah. Um, I do have Immersive HUD, that means that there will be no HUD unless I really want to do that. And I can press the X on my keyboard to show the compass where I need to go. And that's really handy for situations like this. And I'm not going to in go into stealth much, I really want to go full head-on uh, with, um, with creatures, you know. Just a one-hander and a shield, I think that works perfectly fine. I've played, uh, my main uh, playthrough was a stealth archer. And while that was fun, I really want to try something different as well. And we can do that now with a new playthrough. So I think I also once started a playthrough with a orc and a two-hander. But that didn't really work out because I had all these weird gameplay overhauls. And for that, the enemies were super strong. And I spawned right into a dungeon, which was really, really weird. Um, so yeah, it's a, it was a little bit too challenging maybe. So this is just core rules, you know, uh, not too hard, I hope, not too uh, easy. And let's hope we don't find any creatures on the way. Because I probably am horribly trained with a bow and shield. Okay, and I let's see how the bow and arrow works on the controller again. So this is smashing, this is... yeah. Because again, the movements on a controller, as you can see, are way more um, pleasant for you guys to watch than using these uh, janky mouse movements that would all the way look like this, you know. And that can be quite annoying, I think, for you guys. So let's see if we are able maybe to find something uh, here regarding weapons. I prefer to have a one-handed sword uh, or shield and a shield here. So maybe this entire dungeon will work still. But not that we're going to do it, but uh, maybe we can find some weapons. Okay, there is a dead guy here, so does he have anything with him? He has a war axe, that's one thing at least. And he has some Stormcloak uh, armor. That's a lot better than the fur armor, I think. Can we see that armor? Yeah, we can actually see that. Fur armor is not a bad either, by the way. Um, so maybe we don't want to pick a side ye uh, yet by putting on Stormcloak stuff. But we do have an Iron War X. Cool. As you can see, the vanilla weapons overall can change the appearance of weapons sometimes. I think in overall they're doing a pr pretty good job, but uh, this War X could have been done a little bit more vanilla style. But anyway, the overhaul is a very good quality. Okay, maybe we can find some more swords and shields because I don't necessarily want to purchase them already. Uh, if we use, probably can find them. So let's see where did we go from? We either had one of those two entrances. This is the other side. Ah, okay. Here we can find also, uh, hopefully, some weapons. Some septums. Yeah, this is an imperial base, right? Again, ah, look at this nice. An iron source. And we now at least have two weapons. Yeah, so I have to check a little bit with the controller again. What does the best damage? The war axe on the main hand, then I guess that's the best choice. The warden chest, an iron source, imperial light armor, and the helm keep key. Uh, let's uh, maybe just shop a little bit here to see what we can find. And we haven't picked a side yet, so I'm not really sure what's going to happen here. If we're meeting enemies. I hope not. But I actually do want a shield, so maybe if we can find a shield here somewhere. 
pretty funny. All these guys are dead. All right, <laughs> I just looted that guy. Okay. All right, let's see what we will find here. I don't want to venture too deep into this uh, Helgen uh, dungeon. Oh. Yeah, let's uh, be careful. Is there anyone here? I just want a uh, shield, then I'll be gone here. He has an iron great sword. There are some potions here. It's wine. This is a potion of magicka. Potion of healing. That's nice. Ah, we also have imperial guys here. Imperial sword is uh, probably good value. And we do have Imperial Armor, which might be a little bit better than the Light Armor. Yeah, let's uh, pick that up. And let's equip the Heavy Armor. So the Imperial Armor, yeah, is the best armor so far. Can we, let's see, the Helmet, this Imperial Light Helmet is also good value. So there is a Potion of Healing here. It seems everyone is dead, so I think we are pretty safe. Yeah, you know, let's... Maybe let's see what's here and else we're going to venture back. Okay. What's this? this is a mace. I rem ah, we have a shield. Okay. We have what we came for. Let's see if we... I think we can um, open these cages for some nice items. There's a book of Dragonborn here, an iron dagger, I don't care about that, and then a knapsack with some nice items. Okay, so let's de how see how this is going to work with a controller. Ah, not that bad. But there's nothing here, but at least we can train our lockpack skill. So let's see what this mage has. He has a spell tome. That's nice. He has some golds and potions. Ah, and some magic items. Wow. Let's. Uh... Yeah, again, it's been a while since I had done this, as you can see. Um, so I can't really remember what everyone has and what we're going to find. Okay, and we trained our lockpick skill. Okay, so we have what we came for. Let's see. Um, we want to. At least I want to equip a shield and as our main weapon, an Imperial Sword, I think. Yeah. That looks fine to me. So this is blocking, yeah, and this is slashing. Awesome. So it was a good thing we went to Helgen uh, first instead of going to Riverwood first and then, uh, you know, uh, spending all of our money uh, on stuff we would have found in Helgen anyway. All right, let's see if we can find our way back. Is that quest, by the way, completed now? Um, yeah, or not. A dragon. Okay, yeah, I'm not sure if it matters that much that we complete the quest or not. But anyway, uh, let's maybe see what the map says, or the compass say, says. Okay, we need to... Here is Skyrim. Yeah, okay. I think we need to go to the tavern or something. Let's see what the compass says. We need to go over there. And I think somewhere here we can complete the quest. Okay, here we need to go. Somewhere, I think, at the tavern or something. Stamina is pretty horrible, by the way, as you can see. So, what does our local map say? Hmm, okay. Somewhere here, then. It's 
somewhere behind these walls we need to check. Okay, so do we have solved this quest? Oh, it's over there, okay. It does seem to change, or is it just me? Okay, it's somewhere here then. Ah. Alright. Read the journal. Investigate a cave mentioned in your journal. Okay. Or warn the residents of Riverwood about the dragon attack. I would say let's go to Riverwood. Let's not... Um or is that cave already here? Investigate mentioned in the journal. Yeah, maybe we can do that then. Let's see if I can maybe... Um, I'm thinking of maybe activating uh, the, uh, the compass. Because it's really annoying having to press X on my keyboard all the time. Because I'm currently running with a controller, so that's why. So let's see, the compass activation, key press turbos. Yeah, okay, this is fine. So let's see, I think we we're able to handle everything what's in that cave. Not super sure, but... Uh, so, you know, when we are here, let's maybe clear that cave before we're going to river. Can we not just simply open this gate? Yeah, we can. And let's quick save. Let's be careful that we have do some sta that we do have some stamina in case some creatures are going to attack us. And it's being done really nice, I think, as you see the lots here, you know, the distant landscape with all the 2021 uh, mods and lots we do have. And also that this area uh, goes from a snowy area to a little bit of a more forest area slowly. You know, the transition is done very nice, I think. Uh, so that's thumbs up for Skyrim. So there is a cave here. Where is it? Here? Oh, it's there. So let's see what we're going to find. Let's hope we won't find any uh, horrible creatures like thralls and stuff. Or traps. We should be careful for traps as well. Oh boy, and the blood doesn't really... Uh... Oh, wait a minute. Is that the cave with uh, with the bear? You know, the other side from... Uh... If you would uh, do the Helgen quest. I think so, right? So let's be careful we do not uh, anger a bear here. Ah! Okay. We can give... I think we have a healing potion for him. Yes, we do have. Yep, yeah, we have a potion of minor healing. Okay, I think this is some custom dialogue for which has been added into uh, Random Alternate Star. That is really nice. Um, that means we can... Uh, Continue with the quest. I think they've done... They have uh, yeah, have a good solution for this. So uh, props up to the authors of... Uh, Random Alternate Start. Alright. So now our official adventure will begin if you would follow the Helgen sequence. So let's see what it guys say to us. From Harry's Riverwood. My uncle's the blacksmith there. I'm sure he'd help you out. Sure. It's probably best if we split up. Good luck. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. Okay. Looks like he's gone for good this time. But I don't think we should stick around to see if he comes back. Yeah, he's talking about the dragon, of course. My uncle's the blacksmith. 
Let's see, I do see some fire. Uh, this was the place I think uh, I uh, spawned. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. Yeah, buddy, you said it already. Be gone. It would be pretty funny if I would search, an example, this storage check. Ah, oh. <laughs> okay. And um, wanted to say find the weapons and all, but wow, it's a good thing I checked this. It's a lot of stuff which we can sell. Gold necklace. All right. Cool. I think this is pretty much the loot you will find if you would play the intro sequence and the Helgen cards. I think something like that. But I really love how the game looks, you know, um, in comparison with, uh, with with my previous versions. Especially the new mods when, with all this foliage and all this stuff. Looks very, very nice, I think. And also the lots, the distant landscape, we use the pre-generated lots and it all looks so natural and so nice. And I'm really happy with uh, the way my Skyrim uh, looks. So again, if you want to have the same graphics, make sure you follow the tutorials. The links are in the video description. All right, let's go to uh, Riverwood and let's warn uh, the people there. I'm not sure what that guy is doing, by the way. If he says we wanted to split up, but it seems he is going to uh, Riverwood as well. So not really sure what the point of splitting up is. Uh, he seems to be following the path, so maybe we can go a little bit off-road to Helgen. There is a mine here. Oh. Okay. Hi, buddy. You want to fight? Come on. Huh. Not too bad. We're not doing uh, work, uh, that bad in, uh, as a level 1 character, I have to say. By the way, um, I, I'm, I'm playing a very long parts, but I will cut into these parts so it could be that you... Um, to be honest, I have no idea um, how long I've been playing already, but I think I will go for the 20, 30 minutes aim. I, again, I did say this, but to have a more interesting view for you guys that you don't have to watch a full hour and then when you watch something else, you have no idea where you were with watching my Let's Play parts. So, um, it could have been that this might already be the second part that you're watching right now. But I will make sure to do some sort of a nice edit in, uh, you know, and to make sure which part you're watching. It's nice, I can't remember this actually. I've been, I've been a lot in Riverwood regarding testing and all, but uh, let's uh, disable the compass. It's not needed here. Nice. Here we have the Riverwood view. This is the area that everyone pretty much knows, right? River Woods. So here's the guy. Yeah, again, I'm not really sure why uh, we uh, split it up, but okay. A dragon. I saw a dragon. What? What is it now, mother? Hello. Hello. It was as big as the mountain and black as night. It flew right over the barrel. Are you on me? Dragons now? Is it all? Please, Mo. If you keep on like this, everyone in town will put Uncle, please, keep your voice down. I'm fine, but we should go inside to talk. What's going on? And who's this? Hi, buddy. He's a friend. Saved my life, in fact. Come on, I'll explain everything, but we need to go inside. Okay, okay, come inside, then. Sigrid will get you something to eat, and you can tell me all about it. Okay, sure. I'm going to quick save now, and I'm going to uh, end this um, this capture. But you will probably see it instantaneously if this is part of a cut. So, um, yeah, see you guys in a little bit.